Hello guys, welcome to Easy TV Presents Tech View, another episode. Uh, today, uh, I'll show you guys one interesting thing, which is uh, Wi-Fi password or Wi-Fi connections, right? So whenever like your friends or your relatives or your colleagues or anybody, like whenever they visit your house and also uh, like it's not only related to the house or maybe um, office or any other place, whatever the place, if you guys wants to share your Wi-Fi with your guest. So every time, what do you guys do actually? You guys, you have to provide your Wi-Fi name, which is called SSID. And sometimes SSID is pretty big. And sometimes maybe as a host, you don't remember, like you don't, you know, your name is something, say HQ, blah, 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 something. So, and also the password, sometimes password is very complicated. If you don't change it, if you don't modify it. So by default, whenever you buy a router uh, on the back side of the router, it, it's it, they are already created uh, the, from the vendor, like from the manufacturer, they uh, already created one um, SSID for you. So when you plug the router, automatically you get a Wi-Fi name. So is is the vendor created? Is the manufacturer created? So whenever you use the default one, maybe you can remember the Wi-Fi name, but the password is very big. So sometimes you write down somewhere and so on. And whenever your guest ask you what's your Wi-Fi, and if you wants to give them the Wi-Fi password, you have to maybe read it for them, or maybe you have to write down for them, or maybe you have to look it on your router. Sometimes you can forget it. So how? easily without telling them anything, you can give them Wi-Fi access. It's very interesting and very easy. You can do it some couple of clicks. So I'll show you right now. All right, so now, so the only one website you need to get some help from there. So which is called um, keyword code hyphen monkey.com. So whenever you like log into this website, uh, there's a lot of options you can see here. Like you can uh, generate the QR code for uh, your website, your Facebook, your Twitter, your YouTube, a lot of content here, options here. So our target is to Wi-Fi, right? So I click on Wi-Fi. So when I click the Wi-Fi, uh, it shows me enter content or less SSID. And that means what's your, um, Wi-Fi name. So this is a demo video. That's why I'm just, I just created a one um, test or less SSID, which is well, my Wi-Fi connection name. Um, after this video, I'll delete it anyway. So test is my Wi-Fi connections. I created uh, in my, um, like on my router. So the password, I put it a really easy password for this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But sometimes it can be really, really big. So in that case, you can just first, first time you can type it here and Wi-Fi wi encryption uh, is web or web um, WPA or WPA2. It depends on what kind of encryption uh, security you use your router. Most of the time is WPA slash uh, WPA2. So uh, this should be your encryption and so now you're almost done. Just you can click, click uh, create a QR code. It's gonna create a QR code for you. And I'll prove it actually how it's work. And <clears throat> if you want to do uh, like, like do some branding, if you wants to create the uh, Wi-Fi QR code for your um, office, in that case, you can do some branding. That means you can add your logo. So add, if, how, can I, how you can add your logo? Add logo image, and if you go uh, upload image, I don't know, I don't have anything here. Um, maybe I can just add it in one of my picture. Say for example, this picture. Uh, I, I don't have any logo, that's why. So how you can generate, it, it's, it's most probably it will be your uh, company logo or whatever you want. And so you can say create, uh, create a QR code. So it's gonna create a QR code here. See, the picture is in the middle. Uh, I'm removing actually, because I don't want my picture here. 
So, and also you can do more customization. So you can just play with it and it's free. You don't need to pay, right? So uh, my code generation is done. My code generation is done. I can just, I can try it again, maybe. Uh, general code, okay. Eight, nine. Make sure I, I am doing the right one. Uh, create QR code. So the QR code is already generated. And now you can save it. So download the PNG. And it's it going to tell you to sign up, free sign up. You don't need to do anything because this is ad. Here is the uh, downloading options. Like it's downloading. See, it's already downloaded. So I downloaded actually two, three times. That's why it's number four. Don't worry about it. All right. So for this website, I'm done. And QR code is generated. Now, this is the process. How are you going to present it to your guest? So if you have, if you have a, 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 a like a photo frame or something like frame, uh, frame for a table or your, um, where you can like present it for your guest, it can be a wall frame or it can be table frame or whatever, a photo frame, or you can buy some standing frame from uh, Amazon or somewhere. So, uh, and then you can make some design also. How you can make a design? So uh, canva.com, canva.com. If you log in there and from, they have a lot of designs. So from there, or you can search it like Wi-Fi wi password template, just Wi-Fi password and then search it. Then maybe you're gonna get like this, this thing. So from there, you can just click this one. For example, this is free. All of, uh, all of the design is not free. So this one is free. So you can customize it, just like move here and there, whatever you want. So you can maybe delete this one if you don't need it because we don't want to show the password like this, right? And maybe you can delete this one. You can put it like up here. And also you can just make it small, whatever you want. And then you want to put the logo here, right? So you can go um, upload and then upload the, upload the email because I did it previously. So upload this one, this is my third one. And then you can maybe just put it here and you can make it more small if you want and just put it here in the uh, middle place or, or, or bottom in the middle, bottom middle. And, and also you can put some text here if you want. So text and also you can choose the text type. And so I'm not doing right now everything because I already did one. I can show you guys here. So I did one here and now you can just download it. So sometimes you can download, uh, uh, if you click share and say download, and it's gonna be downloaded as a PNG, download. So it's downloaded, right? See, it's downloaded, right? This one, no, 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 not this one. So it's downloaded where uh, I need to check it to. It's downloaded here. Let's see. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's downloaded. So it's downloaded here. Or if you cannot download it, you can tell them like, you can do it on alternative way, which is, <clears throat> if you are not able to download it, sometimes they say you have to sign up and pay for this. In that case, <clears throat> you can just take a screenshot of it and then open your paint and then just uh, say, for example, new, like new and paste it. And then maybe you can crop from here like this <clears throat> and copy and new and paste. Same thing. So if you can download it, that's fine. No issues. So this is the way. Now you can just print it out. Now you can print it out and put it in a photo frame or something, whatever. So I have a design actually uh, already created. Like after you print it out, this one and put it in a uh, photo frame and how it's gonna look like. So maybe in your house it's gonna look like this. So whenever your guest comes to your house or, or your office, you can just tell them to 
scan it. So then they can easily scan it. And I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna prove it actually how it's happened, right? So if you can, uh, just give me a second, let me make a big, make my screen a little big. So then I can show you guys actually what's going on. So I'm going to scan. Uh, not gonna be more bigger. Okay, I'm going to remove just for proving you, you guys actually is working. So how I can prove it? <coughs> I don't know if I can show my uh, phone. So Wi-Fi, I don't know it's showing or not. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's do one thing. Uh, is it not clear? I believe it's clear, a little clear, right? So, where is the uh, network? So the network is test. Is my Wi-Fi wi link? It's test. So I'm going to, I believe, uh, this one. This one is a test. And so how I can show this one? Uh, maybe so I'm going to scan it right now. How it look like? <clears throat> Let me move my camera. Then I can show here. See, this is my logo, right? Uh, on my computer. Okay. Now I'm going to scan it through my camera. So I open my camera and scan it. See, see, it shows here the link. I just, I just open my camera. And my camera is on the QR code, and I just click on join, and then it's asking me join or not. So I said yes, join, join, and then now I'm going to test check. Uh, my settings and Wi-Fi. See, now my Wi-Fi is test. Is, right, so it's connected. So this is how we can provide the Wi-Fi connections. Just scanning the QR code, nothing else. So it's pretty easy, and um, pretty easy to set up. So yeah, that's all actually. Uh, I'm going to make it more small. So. On my phone right now, I have a connections Wi-Fi connection without without selecting the um, Wi-Fi connections Wi-Fi wi name and also without without providing the password is connected. Just scan the QR code. So it's pretty easy, and you can do it because I spend uh, almost I don't know how many minutes, maybe fifteen to twenty minutes. But in your case, it's not gonna that, take that long because if you know your Wi-Fi name, I am showing again. And if you know, if you go to the uh, QR code monkey.com and then Wi Fi, and then from there, if you just provide the your, uh, SSID, or that means your uh, Wi Fi name and password, and create a um, QR code and then download. That's it. And then, anyway, if, if you don't like to uh, make design, you can just simply print out the QR code. And that's all. If you like my video, please give a big thumbs up. And also, if you are new in my channel, um, you can subscribe my channel. And also, don't forget to click bell icon. Um, if you uh, then, uh, if you click the big bell icon, then the next time you'll get my uh, another video updates and everything. And thanks, thanks for watching.
I'll see you guys maybe in another episode. Till then, stay safe and bye.